All right, this is the EOC practice test for Algebra 2, or the Tennessee EOC practice test, I should say. Question number 19. In the grid below, the graph of the equation y equals the absolute value of x is transformed to create y prime. That's what that little thing means. It's not like a, it's a possessive y. Y needs its stuff. No, it means that it's, uh, it's just called y prime. Now, the reality is when I have an absolute value, there's two components to it when I'm graphing it. I'll usually have the x and something or other inside, so maybe three, and then I'll have the thing that's outside. So let's look at the answer choices that were given. If I cover up my absolute value with my hand, so I'm going to use a highlighter here. So if I cover this whole thing up so you can't see it, don't worry, I can get rid of it later. What I'm left with is y, well, if it helped, I go back to the pen, eh? y equals three. This tells me what the shift would be on the y axis. So it just looks normal. So if you cover it up with your thumb, or in my case, I'd have to have gigantic thumbs because the board I'm writing on is really big, but whatever. Um, it would tell me where I'm shifting. So my shift from here, this is my original y equals the absolute value of x thing. y prime is the other one, so I have to see how far I shifted. And I shifted down. Three. So I need to find one that has minus three on it. Anything else is out. I can just eliminate them. It's a multiple choice test, people. Eliminate the things that don't work. So I'm just going to get rid of those. Now, um, when I'm in the X scenario, so it's either going to be this one or this one, and if I used what I would think logically just by looking at it, I would say, oh, it's at minus six, so that's what I'm going to deal with. Uh, unfortunately, with absolute value, the x shift is backwards from what you've seen because you have to get the x back to zero. And if I'm doing sort of an absolute value scenario here, and if I'm going to shift at six, I need to move it in the opposite direction. So instead of saying x minus six, no, 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 that would take me over here, I need to make it x plus 6, because I have to get it back to 0. That's the whole goal, right? So my issue here is that I need to pick the one that says x plus 6, has the y minus 3. It would help if I could circle. But either way, your answer to number 19 is D.